You can't win with that, Kai. What the are you talking about? Today I'm trying the worst rated loctician in my town. And this does not end up good. A lot of my locks are actually combining at the roots and I really need a retwist and a fade and a lineup. And as long as I can do that, I don't see how this can go that bad. I spoke way too soon. This goes really bad. But I'm doing it anyway. So I got on Google, searched up locticians in my area, and I scrolled all the way to the bottom to find the worst rated one. This one has one star with over a thousand reviews. So let's go ahead and call them and set up the appointment right now. And right when they picked up the phone, this happened. Hello? Hey, is this a... Uh... Here's a disclaimer, I had to bleep out their name and cover up their face throughout this entire video. And I had to do this because I made a huge mistake later on in this video. Let's just say I didn't do all of my research before going to this loctician. Hello? Hello, 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 what's up, what's up? Is this Yeah, what's up? I needed to set up an appointment to get a retwist. Styles. We got a lot of styles out here. Yeah, I mean, we can do a style and then... Do you guys do haircuts, like fades? What kind of haircut? Like a taper fade and just a lineup. Oh, yeah, I could, I could, I could do it for sure. What, what time do you want it? Uh, as soon as possible, really. Alright. You come right now, you gotta swap. Okay, cool. You know the prices, right? You see it on the website? Yeah, it said $100, right? All right, I'll head that way. I should be there in about 15 minutes. 15? Yeah. Hold on. You said 15? Yeah. Uh, uh, hold on. You said 15? All right, all right. Come through, come through. All right, all right. All right cool. Thank you. All right. all right. So I'm good to go right now. I should be there around 4.30. I really hope they're not playing loud music the entire time. So let's go. But I can't just go to the worst loctician and not record it. So I'm going undercover. I'm going to be mic'd up. To make things even worse, putting a microphone under my shirt causes a problem later on in today's video. Can't even see that I'm mic'd up right here. And hopefully they don't say anything about my camera. And also before we go, I'm actually going to be dropping off a ton of orders to be shipped out today. If you need any dreadlock products, go to greatlocks.com. The link is down below for all of your dreadlock needs. All right, so I put this place in my GPS and I should be there in about 12 minutes. Turn left onto North Avenue. So it literally had me pull into this apartment complex and it's still telling me that it's right up here. I don't know. I don't really feel comfortable with this really. Now typically I'm uncomfortable in any situation like this. Maybe I should just go back home. But I'm already here so I have to go through with it. Alright, let's do this. You guys have no idea on how nervous I was right here. And as I got closer to the door, all I could hear was this. What's up? Hey, I had an appointment. I just called. Oh, that was you? Yeah. Oh, uh, for retwist? Yep. Okay, give me a sec, bro. Okay. All right, this is already starting out bad. This is the moment that I really realized this isn't going to be a good experience. I can already hear that this person is talking extremely loud, and as I was walking up, I heard really loud. Uh, uh, and just as he was about to let me in, this happened. Or yeah, can I bring my camera? Or can I film the process? Process of what? of uh, the retwist and whatever style you're gonna do. I do videos and I wanted to like kind of show people the transformation I'm gonna be doing. Oh no, no, that's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? That's our thing, you know what I'm saying? That's what we do. We give you a lock style, give you the style, we can't give you the method how to do. So we have to do that. You can't record here, I'm sorry, but you can't, or else you gotta go. Bro. At this moment, I realized that I should have asked if I could film over the phone because then I could have just went somewhere else. And I just explained to him that I would sit my camera down and quote unquote, not film the process. And right away, as I walked in, this apartment was a mess. And as the time progressed here, I just got more and more uncomfortable. So he brought me into this room and I'm sitting in this foldable chair. And this is a one to two hour process. I'm gonna go ahead and take my glasses off. And I have to say that this first 10 seconds of silence of me just sitting here was extremely awkward. This chair, right there too. This chair is really uncomfortable. Let me go ahead and take my hair. Which new 
big twist, and that's it. Yeah, so a lot of my hair on the top, the locks are starting to combine at the root. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're still mature, uh, maturing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, I haven't got a retwist in a while. Um, Let me I've, see. Oh, I got see. you, bro. You ain't yeah. got to explain that. I got okay. it. When's the last time you had a retwist? Uh, probably a month ago. Dang, looks terrible, bro. You need to come in more often. Dang. You did it yourself or something? Who did this? Uh, yeah, I do it myself. Remember how I said putting my microphone under my shirt takes a turn for a worse? Well, that just happened. My microphone died, but don't worry, I'll be explaining what's happening throughout this entire video, and you'll be able to hear most of the audio coming from the camera microphone. He asked if he could use my hair tie to pull my hair up, and of course I let him use it, but this guy was literally not prepared at all. And he was not gentle with my head. And it's almost like he was doing this stuff on purpose. I understand that getting a retwist and getting hairstyles may be pulling at the hair, but this is out of hand. Just so you guys know, there is a mirror in front of me, so I'm able to see what he's doing at all times. So he starts to dampen my hair in order to do the retwist, and he keeps spraying my face. And it just seems that one thing after another is going bad. And I'm not even 10 minutes into getting my hair done. Right now he's leaving the room to go get his locking gel, and this is one out of the many times he leaves the room in order to go get something or do something. Hello? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone. But of course he took a phone call and walked back out of the room. Right here I was explaining to you guys that I personally do not like going to barbershops or going to get my hair done. Honestly, I really don't even like going out in public and this is even before COVID and everything like that. I'm just the type of guy that likes to stay home. I like to do things myself as well, especially on my hair. And all I can hear this guy doing is talking extremely loud over the phone, talking about some sort of party or something that's going on later tonight. And if you think I look uncomfortable now, just wait till the end of the video. Based on the context of what he's saying, it sounds like he's talking to his wife. And then he said something that really got my attention. Not only that, but it reminded me of a video that I did. I have no idea how I remember this, but he said the name of the lady who refused to retwist my hair over over four years ago and then it just clicked this is the same exact place that refused to retwist my hair but this isn't the lady this is her husband and now I'm thinking does he know who I am did he recognize who I was right when I walked in is that why he's continuing to stall but then when he walked back into the room I noticed something and there's no way He's going to be using Great Locks locking gel on my dreadlocks. Now I'm thinking this has to be some sort of a joke. But then he said this. Because this gel actually works, but... This dude, man, uh, look, we like his brand, but we don't like the dude because this gel actually works, but he... And just with him saying that, confirmed that this is the same exact place that refused to retwist my dreadlocks. I just hope that he doesn't notice that I'm Gunther the Great. That's why you got all these mildew. See that? That's a mildew. Yeah, that's what that is. Yeah, that's what that is. You see that? No, no, no. Look over here. You see that? Yep. That's a mildew. Up there. I'm starting to think that he knows who I am because he asked this question. Where are you from? I'm actually out from Kansas. I moved out here. Oh, okay. I thought you was white for a second. Is that, is that, you white? He asked her from white, and that's exactly what I named the title of that video of why she refused to retwist my hair. You have black? Yeah. Like, what is the texture of my hair? No, no, no. This is one of the main reasons I don't like going to barbershops or getting my hair done, is because they always want to talk about something, and I just want to get my hair done. But then he proceeds to talk about all the people's hair that he's retwisted. You know what I'm saying? We get Asians, we get Chinese, we get Indians. You feel me? It's business, you know what I mean? Business is business. And he just constantly stops doing my hair to talk to me. And as time keeps going on, I just keep getting more awkward and awkward. We going out here. Come on, just please do my hair so I can go. Look at these. You got a phone and you take a picture of it. This guy has literally done nothing to my hair and he's already wanting to take a picture. And then he asked the most ridiculous question. I'll be right back. I need You smoke? Oh, no, I don't. Oh, that's fine. You sure? Mm -hmm. 
we just hit the joint real quick. I mean, I bet. Right when he said that, I'm trying to figure out the quickest way to get out of this. I do not want to be here anymore. I'm just going to try to get out of here, honestly. Because for a second there, I thought they were going to notice. I've been here for about 15 minutes already, and he hasn't done anything to my hair. So let's see what I can do. There's literally no way for me to escape this because I'd have to go through their living room in order to get out of the front door. This whole time I'm hoping he goes to the restroom or takes some sort of break so that I can leave. But just as I try to head out, he's already coming back. What style you want it? Uh, what style is, is your best? Oh, we do like a uh, pineapple style, which is like our top favorite one. We talk just only 50 to 75, depends. You got a lot of hair, so I try to do 75. Uh, you know, you wanted a haircut on top of that, so that would be... I, I'll, I'll hook you up, you feel me? I'll okay. hook you up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, just do whatever you think is best. Oh, I already know what's best, bro. You feel me? Yeah, you gotta tell me twice. And here he goes again with pulling the hair extremely hard. These f people call me, man. Bro, I'm at work. I He's back on the phone with his wife again, and I literally feel like they're talking about me. He's already going to get the clippers and he hasn't done anything to my hair and the whole time I'm trying to figure out what in the world is going on. I've already decided that I'm not going to get out of this early so I'm just going to have to wait it out and see what happens and honestly as long as I'm able to go home after this that's all that matters to me. The camera doesn't really show this but the room was extremely dark so I had to ask him before he started cutting my hair if he could turn some lights on or open the blinds or pretty much anything to add light into this room so he doesn't mess up my haircut. I ended up telling him to just give me a lineup, and that's pretty much code for saying don't touch my hair. So he spent quite a bit of time on the front hairline giving me a lineup, and then he asked this question. You want anything to back? I'll cut off some dreads and like, you know, make it look good. And I kept telling him, no, I don't want anything cut off in the back. I don't know what you just said. So don't cut anything in the back. Like a little taper or something? That's what we do usually. No, I just want to keep it like that because I'm growing a full head. I want to grow as much as possible. Oh, let's see. Like the whole head you want growing up. Yeah. So why is this cut there? Right he kept here? insisting to do something on the back of my head, so I figured that was my key out of here. Let him do that, and then I'll be able to go home. Let me do something in the back. I promise you, I got you. Like you, you actually be surprised by it. You, if you, if you don't like that, I, I give you money back. I promise, you, bro. Okay. This is what I do. You feel me? This is what I get more clients. Like that's why I'm booked all the time. Okay. Yeah. Well, before I start in the back, I gotta. So you want water or something? Uh, yeah. Here it comes. He's literally making me hold his clippers. This time when he walks out of the room, I wanted to relocate my camera. And this room is a mess, so it was really easy to hide it. As I'm moving my camera, I realize that my camera battery is on red. And man, I just need this to keep recording until we're done. But I wanted to see what he was doing at least when I'm editing this video. And I noticed this as I'm editing, and it really upset me. And he asked if I had another hair tie, and I'm just really not surprised at this point. Which I actually had a hair tie in my pocket, so I pulled it out. But the whole time he's waiting, he has his clippers running, and eventually... Oh yeah, I do actually. Yeah, they died. And he did this. And it actually worked. I'm just kidding. No, it didn't. That was probably one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen. I added the sound effect of the clippers in. So he grabs the same clippers he used to line up my hair in order to do this haircut in the back, and I have no clue what he's doing. But now that I'm editing this, it looks like he just wants to do a lineup back here, which I really don't mind because I definitely need it, especially with all the frayed hair back there. And then this happens. He literally cut off one of my dreadlocks. Not only did he cut off one of my dreadlocks, he tried to cover it up. And I'm not sure if he's doing this on purpose. Really, I'm not sure what's going on. But he continues to do whatever he's doing back here, which I'm not actually sure what he's doing back here. And then it happens again. He cuts off another dreadlock. And it can't be on purpose because he's trying to hide it. I don't know where the dreadlocks went, but when I looked at the floor, I couldn't see them. So I'm assuming he's standing on them at this point. Look good in the back, so we just going to... 
You said what? I swore I was seeing a dreadlock. Oh, right no, no, this is right here. Hold it. See what I do? Yo, 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 yo. It kind of fell off from the top. It's like, it was getting too messy. I'm going to just leave the bag how it is, and then, uh, we just, uh, um, uh, uh, we just going. There, yeah, put it there. Let me see. Let me see. I got you. Hold it right up. Yeah, oh, God. Hold on, hold on. Where the mirror at? As I'm feeling the back of my head, I can literally feel where he cut off both of the dreadlocks. There's just two little loose ends of hair, and I just really want to get out of here. He brings me a mirror to take a look at the hair, and I have the same question as you guys. What in the world did he do? He didn't do a retwist. This is not a hairstyle. I mean, he did a decent lineup, but he cut off two dreadlocks and tortured me all along the way. I couldn't help but ask him if he genuinely thought that he did a good job on my hair, but he proceeded to tell me that he did a good job. And he's trying to point out to me what he actually did. And I had to remind myself at this point that all I want to do is get out of here. And I asked him one more time if he cut off any of my dreadlocks. And this is where things really get intense. What's up? Are you sure he didn't cut off any dreadlocks in the back? I could have sworn I seen. Uh, what you mean? Because even right here, like, if you look. What the you mean? Like, look how this is just a stub right here. This is by itself. Dude, you can't win with that, Kai. What the f you talking about? I literally just cut your hair. You gonna tell me I cut your hair? I give you a haircut. I'm just No. Nah. No. Nah. Pay for it, whatever. You said 100? No, I did all that. You gonna charge? I'm gonna charge a hundred. Yeah, bro. It's five hundred. Yeah, it's five hundred, bro. I see you over. See you over right there. Come on, man. We touch on the phone. You do, uh, what? You do, uh, no, bro. Cash only.